Italian food doesn't have to be complicated. Here to show us how to make patatas bravas is the Palace Restaurant's executive chef, Jose Salazar. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. Okay, so patatas bravas. Yeah, loosely it translates to angry potatoes, and they get that name because they're a little bit spicy. Yeah, I like. I'm, I'm munching on um, one that's not been <laughs> spiced yet. They're delicious. They're little fingerling potatoes. Fingerling potatoes. Yeah, yeah. They get that name because they look like mm -hmm. your finger. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, we're gonna start off by heating up our pan, and we're gonna put in a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, of course, mm -hmm. from Spain. This is a very traditional tapas dish. Um, Spanish tapas dish. Spanish tapas dish, and you'll see a variation of recipes in every tapas bar that you go to. So it's a tapas, but could you serve it as a side dish? Absolutely. For oh, yeah, yeah, right. absolutely. All right, so what do you want to do? So while that's heating up, we're going to make our aioli, the garlic aioli. So we have a little lemon juice. We have garlic, of course. No, um, that doesn't look like how I chop my garlic. Is it shaved? Um, does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. You could grate it, actually, if Mince, you wanted to. Mince, mm -hmm. whatever. Egg yolks and a little bit of mustard. And then we're going to turn this thing on. It's going to be a little bit loud. Hold. That's okay. It's all right. We don't mind a little loud. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's not, not so loud. loud. <laughs> all right. That's not bad at all. The and ones we use in the restaurant are really loud. Okay. This is a, the home version. If you didn't have one of these, you could buy mayonnaise and add garlic to it. And could you put it in a make, blender? You could do it in a blender, yeah. Right. This is the important part, though, what you're doing now. Right. This is what you call emulsifying in the oil. So very slowly at the beginning, you drizzle in the oil. And you keep going until all the oil's in there, and then you have basically a mayonnaise. Um, That's fabulous. If it gets a little bit thick, just add a dash of water. Okay. And then the potatoes. You parboiled these? I've parboiled them about 90% of the way. All right. I overboiled them. How? Right. At what point do we go, That's it. Stop. Done. Well, it's important that you bring them up from cold. Oh, because if really? you put them into, them into boiling water, water, they overcook on the outside and they don't cook all the way through. Good so job. bring them up from cold and then just go slowly. All right, so they're soft but not squishy. Right. So then you might want to do this in a couple batches just because you don't want to overcrowd the pan. Mm -hmm. Got a little burner. Yeah, well, you know, our difficulty there. That's okay. <laughs> and then you just let them go for about five or ten minutes so they get nice and golden brown on all sides. But for the sake of TV, we move on. Right. Right at the end, you'd add a little bit of fresh rosemary, and that just kind of perfumes them. It gives mm -hmm. them a little fragrance. Then cayenne pepper. There okay. we go with the angry part of this. I like the angry. We only have about thirty seconds left, so thirty seconds. Okay. Cayenne pepper, smoked paprika. Yum. And then really good sea salt. This is actually Maldon salt from England. All right, a lot of us don't have that. Are we going to survive? You could with just some get any salt. salt. Yeah, kosher salt. It's actually what we use in the restaurant for 99% of our dishes. So, don't worry, I won't burn you. I, I believe you. I really do <laughs> believe you. But I did start to move back. I find that. And, and that's it. That's, that's how it. simple it is. You drain them and, on a paper towel. Me. And then very traditional to serve them with toothpicks. You must use a toothpick. You well, did you well. Must. We should. But you'd go like that. Dip. There you are. Now you can have one that's spicy. Delicious. Now I've gone from not angry to angry. <laughs> you can find Jose's recipe on our website. It's at WCPO.com. In the lifestyle section, click on food. Jose, thanks so much You're for stopping You're welcome. By. Thank you. If you think